easy vegetable bolognese with spaghetti squash. We've got a carrot, celery, zucchini, and the mushrooms is what really makes it kind of give it that meat flavor because these are very earthy and they, they're a really great substitute for meat. One yellow onion, roughly chopped, four cloves of garlic, one large carrot, one celery stalk. I love the flavor of the leaves, so they're all going in too. As evenly as possible. You can hear as it's, it's breaking down, there's not as much noise going on in there. So it sounds like it's about, yeah. And you can actually feel that it's really a beautiful consistency. It's just what we want. We're gonna start sauteing our veggies so the veggies don't stick. All right, let's get the veggies in. You heard as, as the veggies first hit how loud the sizzle was. So we want to get that water evaporated. So while these guys sizzle away, I'm gonna get one large zucchini cut into chunks. Mushrooms are so gentle, you can actually just tear them apart if you want. I'm just trying to get them all the same size-ish. All right, we got zucchini and the mushrooms in. Let's give them some pulses so they break down. And then once they break down, it goes right in. Now we want all the water to evaporate from this too. You can really hear the difference in the sizzles. Some sizzles are gentle. Some sound like water. Some sizzles are more aggressive. Once all these veggies have softened, I will put the rest of the ingredients into the bolognese. It's so beautiful, so you know that it's getting closer to being done. Now in bolognese, traditional bolognese, there's milk. So we're gonna add a half a cup. So we're gonna let that all mix together. And then we're gonna put three quarters of a cup of wine. We're using all of our senses while we're making today's recipes. So just take a moment to smell your food to listen to your food. You can hear how it's <laughs> really bubbling up. So you know, turn the heat down a little bit. And what this is doing now is that's gonna evaporate all the alcohol. So while that happens, I'm gonna give it some time. I'm gonna cut up my Parmesan rind. This adds flavor that is so great. It's got that nuttiness and the saltiness that Parmesan brings. You wanna get two to three ounce piece of Parmesan rind I like to not be stingy with it. And then we're gonna add some tomatoes. I'm using crushed tomatoes so I don't have to cut them up myself. Get that all in. You can feel the heft of the tomatoes in there. They're changing the consistency of the sauce. Now it's time to season it. Salt. We're gonna get some chili flakes in there. Just a few. That's gonna really add a nice kind of depth of flavor. All right, time for our rind. And that just tucks in. This is gonna thicken the sauce even more, if you can believe it. Half a cup of basil leaves, chopped up. It's time to get the spaghetti portion of our bolognese put together. Got a big, beautiful spaghetti squash that's a great substitute for pasta. It's tasty, it's got a lot of vitamins in it. <laughs> you don't have to be perfect. It will start to break apart. Give it a little turn, there we go opens right up. Now we wanna clean all those seeds out. And this is gonna roast in the oven for about 40 minutes and it's gonna get all tender. And you're gonna pull it apart with a fork and it's gonna turn into spaghetti, just like magic. So start with them, open side up, get some olive oil and some salt and pepper. Now we want these guys to steam. So what we're gonna do is turn them upside down and what's gonna happen is as they roast, steam will help soften the meat inside. We've got our oven preheated to 400 degrees. It goes in for 40 minutes until they're nice and tender. Oh! Immediately, that aroma hits you. And this bolognese smells wonderful. You can also hear that there's still a lot of liquid in it, so it's got a little bit more ways to go. Give it a little bit more time. So let's get our spaghetti squash out. That there for a minute. Oh, it smells so good. 
Oh, yes, that's exactly what you want. It smells so luscious. And you can actually feel how tender it is, even with just tongs. So let's make spaghetti out of it. Grab a couple forks. All you do is pull it away. Look at that. Turn it around, pull it away. And there you go. You have spaghetti. <laughs> Look at that. It's amazing. Nature's spaghetti. I can hear the sauce bubbling away. So I am gonna check on the sauce and give that a quick stir. It smells divine. I think it's time for that Parmesan rind to come out. It's really softened. You can smell how the Parmesan has just infused the whole bolognese. Cover this back up, turn it down. We're almost ready to eat. We have our spaghetti squash that we made earlier. Look at how that looks just like spaghetti. I love it. Oh, oh that aroma. That is just so luscious. Ladle the bolognese right on top of your spaghetti squash. It's always gotta to top it off with cheese. Look at the cheese just melts right into the bolognese. It's so pretty. I haven't even eaten it yet and I can smell that it is just going to be divine. All made with fresh summer veggies, a beautiful thick bolognese. Mm. 